Ernest's bold quilts and time-saving innovations might never have been known by very many people had it not been for a revival of quilt making that started in the 1970s, when a new generation of quilt makers picked up the craft that their grandmothers had done, but that their mothers might not have. Ernest self-published Practical Machine Quilting for the Homemaker. He sold it at quilt shows and civic clubs where he presented programs. He also sold it by mail order, and he went into his fourth printing of a thousand copies each. My only motive was to share my experience in machine quilting using a regular domestic type electric sewing machine so that the homemaker, after piecing her quilt, could rather quickly finish it in her own home with her own hands with equipment she may already have, making it into a useful bed cover. Ernest and Isabel shared their quilts and his innovative methods with civic groups and quilt guilds and other meetings. And their quilts were shown in exhibitions in Nebraska and across Mid-America. And in 1986, the significance of Ernest's contributions to quilt making were recognized when he was inducted into the Nebraska Quilters Hall of Fame. After making over 300 quilts, Ernest reflected on his 50 years of quilt making. I'd never planned to capitalize on this, but primarily just to share this information with others. I had no idea this quilt venture would mushroom like it has. <laughs>